Hi, this is Mr. G with another Paint.net tutorial. Today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to remove a background so that you can do other things with the background, or if you want to find it, something that's in a picture, but you want to pull it out and put it into another picture. For example, taking, uh, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger's head and putting it on a chihuahua's body, or whatever. I know there are lots of possible applications for this, but for right now, I want to get rid of this background. I like this background for this picture of a clown, but I would really much prefer to have a different background. So to get rid of that background, I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy the image and I'm going to bring it into paint.net. And you can see that I've already gone through some of the process here, but I'm going to uh, redo this process for you. Uh, and I'm going to start with a new one here. So I'm going to just create a new document. I'm going to control V to paste an image and I have my picture of a clown. So first, I'm going to get rid of as much of this background as I can. I'm going to hit the Enter key so that I get rid of the Marching Ant selection that was around the whole picture. I'm going to use the Square Selection tool, and I'm going to drag it over, and I'm going to hit Delete, and you'll see the checkerboard underneath. I'm going to drag down, and I'm going to get rid of as much of the big areas of the background as I can so that I don't miss it. So I don't, but I don't want to cut any of the actual clown herself. This is a nice clown, by the way. You can see that this is not one of those clowns that eats people's souls. This is a friendly clown. And um, I'm always dragging all the way to the edge of my selection. So I, I drag my selection out so that it fits everything. Okay, so I've got most of that stuff cleaned up. I don't like the jagged edges around. I'm going to show you how to clean that up. Now you have another selection tool you can use, which is the lasso. And that lets you do some... Uh, you know, everything that's inside the lasso. So for example, I could just select this part of the balloon, hit delete if I wanted. I could lasso out the clown's face. If I were gonna go really fast here and hit delete, okay. The lasso will have problems if you crisscross the lasso or, or maybe not a problem, depending on how you look at it. I can delete out random bits like that. Okay, I'm gonna hit the escape key or the enter key to stop the selection. Now we're gonna zoom in. And we're going to clean this picture up so it doesn't look like this anymore, but it's going to look more like, well, that one's not so great either. Oh, and I'm going to put green. The reason I'm going to put green behind the picture is so that, um, so that we can uh, see what cleanup we're doing. So I'm going to click plus sign. I'm going to create a new layer with a, with a new layer button. I'm going to drag this down. And I'm going to fill that layer with green. So I've selected green over here. I just picked this green. This is like a green screen color. I'm going to fill this layer. Make sure you select layer two. I'm going to name that layer by double clicking and writing green. Okay. And now I've got my double click. I'm going to call this clown. Okay. I've got my clown layer, my green layer. Now I can really see where that separation is. So now I'm going to get my eraser tool. And I'm going to, I'm going to zoom. Well, I can sort of see right now. See that? I can just sort of clean. I'm going to clean up some of those edges and make it not so harsh. I might make this a lot bigger for right now, like, I don't know, 35. And I'm going to go around the outside, and I'm just going to start kind of clean up. And I'm going to let go of my mouse every few seconds, because if I make a mistake, oops, control Z. It'll only delete the last click. But if I hold click this whole time, let's say I just clean it all up. I'm doing such a good job. It's almost done. And then, oh, no, it undoes all of that that I just did. So now I, I'm almost to the point where I need to get in closer and I'll show you that in a second but I'm gonna get all the big stuff just kind of little clicks here and there okay clicking clicking releasing clicking and letting go all right I'm almost done with that oops control Z a little too much all right now I'm, I'm kind of at the point where my, my mouse is too big and and I'm zoomed out too far I'm gonna go down to size 15 I'm gonna get a magnifying glass and I'm gonna drag it like this over the hands and I want you to see the hand now and now I'm going to clip my, my thing and I'm going to go in and I can just do this a lot better because I'm zoomed in really close. So close that you can actually see the pixels in the design. And don't forget to let go of your mouse frequently. And don't be afraid to just click your mouse. Like just kind of get it on a spot and use the edge of the circle to delete. But I want to smooth this out. I'm not going to worry about getting in between the knuckles super great or anything. If it's a nice round spot, like that's kind of a rounded spot, it kind of works out. Okay. And I'm almost done with this. I could go a little smaller. I could go to size 10 to really get that those final edges there. Okay. 
and I'm going to clean this part out a little bit. And we're just so much better. Okay, so this is going to look a lot smoother now because I've done this. Around the thumb. Now, the shortcut for zooming back out, you can either use the magnifying glass and the, mind, uh, and the right click. Now, look how smooth, cleaner that is compared to kind of what it was before, like around the head here. Okay, so I'm going to do that on this head. So now I've got the magnifying glass. I'm going to drag a square around this spot where I want to clean up. And I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to come back after I've cleaned up more and show you my progress. But that is the process of, of doing cleanup. So when you see these Photoshop battles where people are taking one picture, and there's a lot of cleanup work that they're doing. And there are different tools for doing that. Right now, I'm using the eraser and the magnifying glass mostly. And I use the uh, rectangle select to get rid of big sections that I didn't want. We'll be back after this. We're back. Now, if you take a look, you'll see my clown. I wasn't gone, but for zero seconds. Um, you'll see that my clown around the edges, I've really cleaned up. And there's only a few spots left here where it looks a little harsh. I'm going to zoom in here. And, and you can see that maybe if I were to take my eraser and I, oops, wrong layer. And I were to just smooth over that. I'm going to make that so that's not like a, I'm just going to roll around it so that it doesn't look so harsh because uh, human shapes generally don't have flat, pure flat shape. I mean, if it was a robot, that's one thing, but this is a wig. See, with a robot that had like hard edges, I could probably get away with that. I'm going to just round that out a little bit, see if there's any other spots that needed to be rounded out. Yep, right over here, I can sort of see a little bit. That's not too bad. Okay, so now I've got my... Uh, my clown, I'm going to zoom out, control minus, and, he, and it's a nice clean edge. And then I can find another background. So if I were to go to, uh, let's see, let's put this clown at Hogwarts. I'm going to type Hogwarts Great Hall. Okay. And sure, I'll take this picture here. I'm going to right click, copy image, and I'm going to go back to my cleaned up clown. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to paste it. Control V. I'm going to keep my canvas size and then if I want I can shrink that picture so it matches better. Now my clown is in Hogwarts. Okay now depending on how you feel about clowns this could be wonderful or really freaky but the point is that I can take any image and move and combine it with any other image. And this is a, this is a free program. And you can also look on my channel uh, if you're wondering uh, how to download Paint.net. There's a program. There's lots of free programs. There's a great one called Sumo Paint, which is online. Um, but now I want to show you something else. I'm going to go back now, and I want to find this picture that has a plain white background. I'm going to copy that image, and I'm going to put that into Paint.net. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that picture of the plain white clown. I'm going to paste him in. Now, this, this clown's a little scarier. Uh, I'm going to admit it. I'm a little more freaked out by this clown than the last clown. Okay? Um, but I want you to notice something about this picture. The background is plain white. Now, if you were to use a PNG, there would be no background. You would just see the checkerboard. The cool thing, now, if I use my, I can use my uh, selection tool here. I can just chop it out, and I get to the thing. But here's the greatest thing about the next tool I'm about to show you. It's called the magic wand. When you click on the magic wand and you click on any spot that is the same color, it selects all of that color. Now, if I have the magic wand tolerance up higher, you'll notice it's selecting part of the clown's face because the clown has white in his face and in his hair. But I don't want him to select all of that. So I'm going to change the tolerance until it only selects the parts that I want it to select. I want to make sure that his hands are not getting chopped off. I'm going to hit delete. Boom. I have just deleted the entire layer without having to hand erase everything. Everyone say, ooh. Yes, it's nice having a live audience when you do one of these. So um, that is the, the great way if you find pictures that have a solid background or a green screen background, which is what uh, in movies when they film with a green screen, they're basically using green screen so the computer can pull that green out very easily because humans don't have green in their skin color. That's why they use green because there's no human that naturally has green skin.
Okay, so I've just removed everything almost without any problem. The real trick is changing your tolerance, messing around with your tolerance. If you if your tolerance is too high, you'll end up deleting everything. If it's too low, you won't get all of the white. Now, to make sure that I did it right, I'm going to add another layer, put it on the bottom, and I'm going to fill it with green, just like a green screen, so I can see. I'm going to hit the escape key so there's no selection. And now I can see that it's pretty clean. I did a pretty good job, and it was a good photo. I can zoom in. You know, there's a few, okay, see that? There's a few little random spots here. And this is where the lasso select is pretty awesome. Or you can use, oops, make sure I'm on the right layer. Click on the clown. I'm going to name this clown layer. Okay, I'm going to hit delete. There we go. I deleted it. Now, if I want to clean that up, I can use my eraser. I can get in and I can smooth this out so that it looks a little, a little smoother. Okay, and that's, and then I can zoom in and, and take care of that. But I already took care of most of the work for me by using a plain white background. So if you look for objects and you can say plain background or white background or green background or blue background or simple background, when you search for an image, you'll make it much easier when you're cutting those things out for your own project. This has been another tutorial by Mr. G and this is how to use paint.net to uh, use the selection tools in your magic wand. Enjoy, have a great day, see you later.